Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. Right, this is the full behind the scenes to see how I make and do my videos. Continue to watch. Right, so this is my setup. Now, what I've got in my computer right here is a Ryzen 5 3600. I've got 16 gigs of DDR4 3600. I've got an RTX 2070. It's housed in a 5000D airflow from Corsair. I've got a RX 1000 watt platinum from Corsair. I've got a Be Quiet a Shadow Rock 3 air, air cooler. I've got all uh, Be Quiet fans. Now, what I actually use for my setup as in uh, benchmarks and stuff well I've actually got a lot of different types of benchmarking tools I use now the best ones I use really are 3d mark which is best for like a video uh, gaming type benchmark which I have got on my steam I've got that, i uh, got Cinebench, I've got uh, User, Benchmark. So, right, this is what I use for my gaming benchmark. Now, I've got a load of games in here, as you can see. I mainly use the uh, Total War games because they have the best uh, benchmarks for gaming as well as it... it Put a load on all of it now. As for parts, as in like basically parts I use, um, I've got isopropyl alcohol over there, that's an old Arctic cooler. I've got a dark rock, I've got my boxes, but here of the RGB fans, the shadow rock, then I've got my pearl loop, but here I've got this, but here which I bought for my phone, which is a setup, it comes with a uh, like LEDs and stuff because that's that there it is but that's the kit I bought um, I've got loads of different types of uh, parts here I've got literally a box full of here with uh, old hard drives uh, full of case fans there's uh, thermal paste there's adapters there's even 24 pin uh, extensions there's parts here there's fans there's rgb strips there's literally everything here then i've got my pc games which are all here which i will be getting rid of and then we've got the ah, the closet full of rgb fans which are by here below all my rgb fans which are below now uh as for doing videos myself uh the software i use for editing my my videos is called Wondershare now I've got a it's called Wondershare uh, Filmora X now it's not it's probably the most beginner type uh, editing software but I find it useful because I'm used to it I have got uh, DaVinci Resolve as well installed which I do use from time to time it, it, it depends if I want to do some more basic editing then i'll use wondershare but if i want to do something that's a bit more um a lot a bit harder more that more than anything so i can tweak things then i will use that but as what as what we can see by here is i've got wondershare by here which this is the software i use for my personal self as you can see right here now here so we've got this beer which is it i use my software now there's a lot of different but this is what i've got but here there's a ryzen 6 ryzen 5 3600 it is overclocked which uh i will show you by here hardware monitor which we will load up right now all right so it is overclocked as you can see right by there because uh Precision boost is open, is, uh, open. As you can see there, the Shadow Rock keeps that lovely and cool. But, yeah. So, 
Um, yeah, that's just a look at what my setup is like. Now, uh, there's a video coming out this Saturday for the Shadow Rock versus the Dark Rock Pro. I wanted to do this video because I'm quite busy, but I just want to get something out there for you guys, just to look behind the curtain how I make my videos. I use a tripod with my mobile, but my phone is actually that, um, it's been sent off for repair, which I'm waiting for, so I'm using my uh samsung galaxy s tab uh, s tab 7 plus 5g to do the recordings so i it's better than me using my webcam from which which last week i used my webcam and the quality is quite horrible so i'm hoping this is better i do upscale my videos from 1080p to 4k it's because it's better for the algorithm if you continue using the same um resolution for the videos so since i started on 4k if i continue to do it, it the algorithm pushes it more so yeah well what um the best thing about my set my setup is i will be upgrading i'm planning on doing another desk by here the same color as a beach walnut color which will go across here where my tv is uh, the tv is going on a wall on the wall so that desk will be purely for setups because I'll be getting a bench table from uh, Overclockers. It's about 115 quid, but it's so I can start benching stuff. And then I'm going to start uh, when I upgrade my system, the parts that I've got already for my system, they'll be used as the benchmark, uh, as a bench test so I can continue to do it. So, yeah. Well, I hope you like. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and TikTok. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Goodbye.